Hello again, I'm Lutra FM, I'm bringing you another episode of the So Show Save Youth Only. Um, where you left us off last, we're literally coming towards the end of the season. We are in the playoffs with the skin of our teeth. We're neck and neck on points with um, uh, FC Mets, and we've got two games left. So these two games are must win games, um, basically, and then we've got the playoffs to play. So let's see how we get on. Hopefully, we can get stay in the playoffs and then hopefully we can see how we get on in the playoffs because um i think if we get into the playoffs i think momentum as, and, and form will say that we will win the playoffs hopefully um we'll see but yeah anyway it's just a short intro um but just want to say thanks as always for your support and i'll be back in a sec with the first game right here we are first game of the episode um there's not going to be many games in this episode because because it well, it depends, really. If we we obviously got two games, and then we potentially got the playoffs, um, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, next to the last two games in the league season is against AC Ajaso, who are fourth, and Angers, who I think are second. So, not easy uh, task in hand to keep us in the playoffs. We've got FC Mets, and we've got Bordeaux, and we've got Nims. That are neck and neck with us at the moment, basically. Well, no, Bordeaux's a couple of points behind us, but they can still technically get into the playoffs. Um, and like I said, Ajacia are a very good team and they're probably going to score straight away. No, luckily they don't. So, I'm realistic. I think, I think, like I said, we were lucky to get ourselves into the playoffs towards the end of this season. I wasn't expecting this to, like I said, we did spend quite a bit of the season in the rele towards the relegation zone. We've done very well to get fifth from that. Anything else is a bonus. I'm not expecting us to stay in the playoffs. I think the other teams are too strong. Ooh, nearly scored them. Um, but I think next season, there'll be obviously a few of these teams not in the division. So it might make it easier. It just depends who gets relegated from League Fun. Uh, in fact, let's have a look. Sorry, I'll get side. I always get... Oh, I'll do it in a minute. Uh, I hope this is not a goal. I do like that kit though. It reminds me of the uh, Peru and uh, Rayo Vallecano kit, and I've always liked that style. Right? Okay. Can we actually you know, do what I want to do now, please? No, we still got to wait. Hold on. Just wait for this highlight. I don't know what they're doing here. I mean, literally, can you do something other than pass to each other? Oh my god! This is so annoying. Come on, forward, forward. There we go. Oh. This is what happens. I had a feeling this was going to happen. There you go. At least it didn't. At least we didn't uh, concede there. Yeah, AJ Ajaso, AC Ajaso are a very good team by the looks of it. We got our work cut out on this game, and then we got second in the league next game. Knowing our luck, if we do somehow scrape into the playoffs, we'll probably end up playing AC Ajaso in the semi or the final. Um, but anyway, let's click on this. Let's have a look at League One. So we've got, oh my god, we've got Rennes and Saint Etienne that look like they're going to go down. Um, they might somehow scrape it in here. And then we've got Troyes in the relegation playoff and Stras or Strasbourg or Montepella. So, yeah, next season's going to probably be just as hard, if not harder than last season. Just depends, really. Eventually, we'll go up. I feel like because every season there's going to be one or two decent teams coming down anyway, so we've just got to accept that and just hopefully get better. Obviously, we're a bit limited because we're only doing youth only. Oh, that's a great ball! Oh, such a shame that didn't go in. But you know, we're, we're building play here patiently, we just don't want to concede, which might happen in this free kick. Good save, goalkeeper. We can relax all now. I don't know why it's telling us to remove the instruction to get stuck in because we haven't got any yellow cards yet. So, oof. Oh, pardon me. I do apologize. I've just had a bit of fizzy pop before I started this bit of the video. So, I can only apologize in advance. Uh,. Oh, we're very lucky in this game. They should have had three or four goals by now. I'm hoping that works in our favour and we can 
get a goal here, sneak a 1-0 win out of nowhere. They've only had a few more shots than us. We've had the same, I think we've had the same amount of shots on target. But yeah, oh, Jesus Christ, terrible play. There you go, they're going to go and score from this. No? Oh. oh, that was good defending, good defending. Go on, LaFont. LaFont galloping past. That was, a, I mean, what was the point in that? In the end, you could have done so much better with that. Right, I'm going to take a few players off. We'll put Angelion. Um, who do we take off? Pinto, maybe, because he's got a yellow card. We'll run. Diagne, because he's not been playing well. And then the bat can come off as well. Right, there you go. At least it's nil nil. It's, it's, it's not as bad as you think. If we lose this game, it's going to be a disaster for our season. If we draw this game, I still think we've got a chance of sneaking into the playoffs. It just depends on how Nims do, because they're now leapfrog past us. We really could do with a win here. Yeah, neck and neck on points with Nims. They've probably got a better goal difference than us. It'll be a disaster now if we lose this game. Come on. Oh, good defending there. Saved ourselves twice there. All right. Yep. Okay, I need to do uh, fire up. There we go. I don't think shouts do make much difference from the fact that they're getting rid of it on um, FM25. Tells you everything you need to know about it. But it makes me feel better if I can just shout something at them. Oh, we've got a last-minute free kick. Good save by the goalkeeper. Oh, I thought that was... I thought that was... Uh, goalkeeper handled that out. Nah, nil-nil. Like I said, at least we didn't lose. Um, we're neck and neck on points. means everything to play for. Right. So, I'll be back in a sec with the last game of the normal league season coming up. Right, so here's the state of play as we speak with the last league game of the season. We are neck and neck with Nims on points. They are in fifth place. They have a four goal um, better goal difference than us. Um, so what we need to do is win and win big. Um, but we need to win. That's the most important thing. We need to hope that Nims balls up somewhere. Um, we've got Khan, who's on neck and neck on points with us as well. Mets, who are 53 points. And even Bordeaux, who technically get in the playoffs if the rest of us don't do very well. Um, Han have already played their game, I think, by the looks of it. Who did they play to get that free foot up? Oh, right, right, okay. So I think, let's have a look. Let's see if, I don't think Han's got any more games. Okay, so they've played all the games. Right, okay. So let's go back. So we've got 33 games and that, and then so we don't need to worry about Han. They end up got a chance, but Mets have and Bordeaux technically have. Um, but then again, actually, yeah, they got technically a chance. They would be neck and neck on points with Nims, um, and they've got a, um, a, yeah, the goal difference will probably be a key thing here. So you never know. We might win and they might win, but um, their goal difference might get them into the playoffs. So we will see. But it's the last game of the league season as far as we're concerned, unless something great happens so we've just got to put in the best performance we can hope for the best hope our fans um acknowledge the effort we've put in in the season and then at least if anything if we don't get into the playoffs um at least it'll hopefully help us to get into the playoffs or even better get automatic promotion next year but i do think the talent's there oh that's a great start that's a great start oh that's not a good start Oh, come on, VAR. As, as you know, 80% of our goals have to get checked by VAR. Goal disallowed. That is a shame. See, I am I like my Georgia save because there's no VAR in the Georgia save, which is great. So, like, when I'm, as I'm, I'm playing as Dynamo Tbilisi, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, um, and the Georgian national team manager. Oh, good, good inception there. Come on, Angeli. Oh. Should have passed it. Um, and there's no VAR in the Georgian League, and that's great. I love that. 
because obviously goals get disallowed it's fine but like i don't have to keep worrying i don't have to keep having the referee checking every five seconds for a var decision i hate var it's ruined football for me i don't really watch football as much as i used to because of var ah uh, yeah come on ref i guarantee this goal gets allowed though yeah come on oh okay stand corrected at least he's fair at least the var gods are fair today Right, we are, it's a very boring game for the neutrals, they've been barely, any, I mean we've had zero shots but apparently two disallowed goals. Doesn't, shouldn't, it, shouldn't it still count as a shot on target, even if the goal's disallowed, surely? Right, look at that, one shot, 0 0.05, two shots, 0 0.37. We've had three bookings already as well, which is not good. Who's that to come off? No. Hopefully there's a defensive mistake here and we can... No, no. This will probably end up being a draw by the looks of it. But I, I, I think they'll score first and then I think we'll equalise. Probably firing up the players to see if that'll do anything. Good defensive display there. Good interception or block. Block, sorry. Good block there by the defender. Good header out as well. At least we're a little bit defensive. Quite, well, I was going to say defensively solid, but then that happens. Uh, and VAR not here to rescue us this time. 1-0 to Angus, who are second in the league. Right, I'll berate the players. I'll berate them again. There you go. Right, corner to us. Let's hope this helps. Nah, I'm trying to keep his hands well. It drives me mad, these corners. You can get the ball off from here. You might have a chance of getting an equaliser. Uh, come on, let's get a good tackle. Force them to think again. That's what we want to see. Oh, that was a good ball to them. Fair play. Addo. Ah, good goal, though. To be honest, two 0 I think. I think it's safe to say that the uh, the dream of getting in the playoffs is now over. I'm, we need a miracle at this point. Uh, who do we take off? No one. We can't even put anybody on for him. Who else has been playing rubbish? Did up. You've been playing rubbish. Again, we have no. Ah, oh, do you know what? I'm just going to see the game out as it is. I don't think it makes any difference what subs I make now. Ah, <sighs> bit disappointed in yet now in that now. We're not even going to be six. We're going to be seven, unless we get a late equaliser. No, again, another corner straight in the goalkeeper's hands. What is the point in that? Right, Gelly needs to come off. Um, we'll put Baz on. Wait for the substitution to happen, and then I'll put Baz up front when it lets me. At this point, it probably won't make any difference. Oh, I need to give him a penalty. Oh, no. There we go. At least not conceded another one. Right, we're as low as eight now. Bordeaux's overtook us. This is a disaster. Baz, you can go up here. Like so. Put these here. Like so. There we go. Very attacking. We have got literally nothing to lose now. We've got to go for broke here. And we'll take you off. Take you off. Right, let's see what some fresh legs can do. Probably nothing. Free kick, Didot, over the top. I think that's a new, I think that's a debut there for Gurinu. What's his name? Gurerenu. Gurerenu. 
Maybe he'll become a first team regular next season. You never know. Rare new debut for him. Passes it straight back to the goalkeeper, which is pretty stupid when we've only got 10 minutes left. Take a chance at this point. Paz. Passes it in. Get in. 2 1. Come on. Have we got a chance of getting a point out of this game? Not that it makes any difference, but at least we, at least we can keep some pride. Right, we can't make any more subs. Gurinu loses the ball, fortunately. Bolivin. The blonde bombshell. We lose the ball again. And just drive it forward. I can see what's going to happen here. We know. You know. I know. Oh, I got it wrong. Thought they were going to score there. Okay, let's hope for a defensive mistake here and we can get an equaliser. Come on, get the ball off them. They're just easily passing it around here. That's fine. Okay, hop out. We seem to be playing a lot better since I've changed the up to be more attacking and the mid centre midfielders being a bit more forward. That passing is not going to do well though. That was a terrible pass. Our defenders don't know how to pass. Always seem to pop up. Good save. Right, come on, let's go. Passing it out, Gurinu. Diagni no. Oh my god, Diagni. Yeah, they were just I think they were just waiting. I think they were just like hoping. Um I think the defenders just didn't want us to actually get back in the game. I think they just I feel like they've just sabotaged us. But yeah, seventh. We'll end up being seventh. Well look for the eighth now actually. Here you go, we'll get another goal now. You watch. Would be typical. Will we get the goal now when there's no point? Okay, see? At least uh, Kofi can say he's got his 25th goal of the season. Um, there is still a couple of minutes, so I just don't think it's going to happen. Goal kick. I think this will be their highlight, but you never know. Oh, here we go. Salutu. Did up. Yes! At least we didn't lose. At least we didn't lose. Does that make any difference? No. But at least we didn't lose. Well, I say that. There's another highlight. We'll probably lose now. I don't care. That's fine. You took you you, you sacrificed yourself to make sure that, that that didn't happen. That's that's good shit houseery. We like that. There we go. Right. So where do we end up in the league? Let's have a look. Yeah, seven. So it didn't really make any difference, but at least we've got some pride there that we didn't lose the game. Um, we just unfortunately didn't win the game. Nims, did they win their game? Um, where is Nims? Mets won their game, so that's why. Yeah, Nims won their game as well. So I don't. It wouldn't have made any difference if we won anyway, because they won three one, so they've had a superior goal difference. So it is what it is, everybody. This is uh situation in uh yeah not the best episodes because there's literally nothing else to do this is the end of the episode because there's no point me going through all this um in fact let me do what i'll do is i'll forward it a week and we'll see if there's any interesting news items end of season type of stuff we'll do that so we'll do that see how we get on see if there's anything worth telling you about and then we'll call it a day. It won't be the longest episode I've done, but at least you'll know what happened. So we've got, not that it makes any difference, because we're not going to spend any of it. We've got a 9.44 transfer budget. We can shift that in, all into the wage budget. Like so. There you go. So we've got treble the original wage budget now, which is good. Uh, we're down 4.4k social media followers. Um, club vision expectation meeting so they want us to develop players using the club system which they're delighted with make the most of set pieces which they're very pleased with play high tempo football they're delighted and then the rest are pleased with do not sign players over the age of 30 which obviously we haven't done work within the wage budget which we've done uh, yeah Kofi had a really good season 
So fair play to him. I'm gonna offer him a new contract. He is only 26. So uh, no minimum fee release clause, which is good. There for five years. Sorry if you can hear that buzzing. That is unfortunately a fly that's come into the room. I will be taking care of him as we speak. Um, facilities no longer work, so we need to just see if we can upgrade the facilities, which we should be able to do. They want us to... Oh, why have I done that for? I didn't want that. Um, anything on this side? No. I'll ask for a new contract. There we go. Do that. Right. What I'll do is I'll just keep forwarding it a few more days. I want to just get the end of season review, whatever they call it. Right, so I'm getting a new contract too. There we go. Find a new contract. Job done. Got a little pay increase as well. Show my commitment to the club. Keeps my job safe for a bit longer. Right, nothing I need to worry about there. Keep going. I know this is a bit boring, this bit, but there we go. Trophy signed a new five year contract. We've got him tied up now until he's 31 with no minimum fee release calls. So, unless the owner um, decides to accept the bid and we can't convince him otherwise, um, he won't be leaving the club anytime soon. I want to try and keep him here at the club for the rest of the save. I think I think realistically, I think what I'll do is the day that Kofi retires, if he's still at the club, is probably the day that I'll probably finish this save. But that means we've still got another five, six, seven, eight seasons ahead of us to do what we need to do. So it's not too bad. And uh, if we do, if we do end up selling him, then I'll just keep going for uh, three or four more seasons, depending on and like how depending on. I might just keep doing it until FN twenty five comes out. I'm quite happy to be doing it like that. Um, yeah, right. So, they've obviously, but Kofi did up Vaz, Bastion, and Lafont were the uh, main sh uh, shirt sellers. Have a look at the finances now. Three million. Okay. Attend this meeting. Uh, the bat isn't benefiting from individual training anymore. Okay. Fucking hell. Uh, But, yep, we are delighted to keep him here. Uh, anything else? Season review yet? When is season review in France? I don't know. Hmm. What I'll do is I'll holiday another week, and then what I'll do is I'll holiday another week, and if it's not the season review isn't done by then, then I'll just call it a day for this episode, because otherwise it's just it's pointless, really. It's just pandering, in it? Uh, but yeah, let's just... This won't be the longest episode. It's only going to be about, by the looks of it, about 23, 24 minutes, but some people might prefer that. Yeah, so Kofi gets the top goal scorer award. Uh, can I vote for myself? No. I don't even get on the shortlist. That is ridiculous. That's an insult, that is. I should be on that shortlist every season. Without fail. Kofi was in the League 2 team of the season. You hear that bloody fly buzzing. No. No, nothing. Right, okay. I tried. I think it's uh it's not as the same as like in England. I think when you do it in France it they take forever to do the season review. I don't know why. There we go. Right then. Um sorry it's a bit of a disappointing episode, but at least we've concluded the season. Um and hopefully you've enjoyed the ride that we've been on. 
I'm sorry that we didn't get into the playoffs, but it doesn't mean we won't get them next season. We are a lot stronger this season than we were last season, and we will continue to get stronger as we go along. Um, some of the young players are maturing and getting better. We've still got Kofi that's literally hitting his, uh, hitting his peak years now. He's only 26, so in the next couple of years, he'll be at his best. Um, but yeah, thank you as always for following. Thank you for watching. And I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. All the best. Bye.